And Frank and Chris are going to the lake winter style. We made it! We're on Gull Lake! Coming up, we'll show you all the great wintertime things you can do in the Brainerd Lakes area. Now, from Minnesota's most watched station, this is WCCO 4 News. Thanks for watching Today at 5. I'm Amelia Santanello. Today's cold weather isn't stopping Frank Vassalero and Chris Schaefer from going to the lake. This morning, they hooked up a fancy fish house for a mobile weather watcher, drove out of our basement garage, and headed for the Brainerd Lakes area. They had a lot of fun there last summer, but can they have just as much fun going to the lake in the winter? Frank and Chris join us now from Gull Lake in Nisswa. Guys, how is it out there? I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's only about 70 degrees cooler than it was the last time we were here. <laughs> yeah, definitely a different thing, but really, really fun. Let us just kind of show you where we're at. This is the Grandview Lodge Fish House. Chris, those kids have the best seat in the house, don't they? They're nice and toasty inside of there, of course. Say hi, kids. <laughs> Yeah, and then we parked our WCCO going to the lake ice house here, courtesy of uh, Coates RV. That thing is great. We'll give you a tour of inside at 6 o'clock. But I, uh, I love it embracing winter and getting out in the elements. Yeah, it was a lot of fun hooking this uh, up to the back of the mobile weather watcher and driving up, uh, getting waves from all the people, and we made it. It's cold, but it's we fun did. up here. So we're here on Gull Lake, but there are a lot of different areas and lakes to enjoy when you come up to the Brainerd Lakes area. We'll show you a little bit of a tour. We are here at Grandview Lodge on Gull Lake, established in 1916. It's such a luxury resort. I think people here really know how to uh, do it right and treat their guests. Gull Lake, of course, one of just 500 lakes in this area. Yeah, and the ice is about two feet thick. Uh, there's about 100,000 residents in the area. Of course, Brainerd and Pequot Lakes, Breezy Point, and we're hanging out in Nisswa, where we'll be doing the news here at 6 and 10 o'clock as well. Indeed. And we had a fun road trip. Yeah, we really did. It was breezy, so there was some snow dancing across the roadways. But I drive by up Highway 10 all the time, and I said, Frank, look, Treasure City, Arr, a place we just had to stop. Welcome to Treasure City, Marie. Hello there. So Treasure City is actually in Royalton. It's been around for 51 years, and as you can see from floor to ceiling, they use every square inch full of trinkets and gifts and everything you can imagine. Bob Jansky is the owner. He uh, kind of drew our attention to a perfect gift for a road trip, a pair of fuzzy dice, which we, of course, christened and put into the mobile weather watcher where they are uh, serving us very, very well. Awesome. Chris, I love the saying of Treasure City, something for everyone. Yeah, we both discussed this, that our kids, cool knickknacks a lighter that also acts as a knife I know you like that you're stuck on I that. really did like great that. marketing scheme too. free ice free water more importantly this time of year free coffee and free cookies yeah and it was nice to duck inside there and warm up for a bit because it's so cold uh, look at some of the wind chill readings from this morning one of the coldest was in Montevideo where it felt like 44 below on exposed skin even in the Twin Cities in the 20 to 30 below range, including Brooklyn Park. Now, the big question is, when does it all end? When does it get warm again? I will answer that question and tell you, in fact, when will it be up around 30 again? Doesn't matter what the temperature is, Amelia. It will not stop the Ice Olympics here live in Gull Lake coming up later on this show. We are very excited to have our competitor here going for the gold. Oh, I'm very excited. We here are very excited, too. So we'll see you in a few minutes then. Thank you. You bet. And coming up, what could be more exciting than Ice Olympics on a frozen Minnesota lake with a biting wind chill? Indeed. Stay tuned to WCCL 4 News at 5. We are going back to the lake now. Frank and Chris are braving the cold on Gull Lake in Nisswa. Hi, guys. Very very exciting. The sun is going down. It'll only make it colder. I'm very yeah, absolutely. excited about that. Yeah, you know, we are on Gull Lake. It's kind of fun to say on because yeah. the ice is like two feet thick yeah. here. Of course, everybody comes up here in the summertime to do some fishing, and it's a big draw for ice fishing. We see the houses all over the place, but there's a lot more to do in the winter. How about this great dog sledding? There are eight dogs leading this rig. You know, those are greyhound mixes. They are uh, they actually are sprint racing dogs. That means they go about 30 miles or less over the snow. Now, every Saturday and Sunday in the winter, you have the opportunity to come up here and do a little dog sledding as well. As you can see, it's a big hit with the kids. Our thanks to Cassidy, she's 11, Carly's 9, and Kalia, who is 6. So really, really great fun. And we have something great fun as well, a little live ice Olympics. Chris, are you ready? 
Emma, Ethan, on your marks. Get set. Go. This is uh, really pathetic that we have to have Chris take on the little kids. Uh, and he's cheating, as you can see. It looks like Ethan's the only one that's uh, actually going with the official rules of the uh, Ice Olympics. He got a little bit of boost. Keep pushing, Emma. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And our winner by a hair, Ethan. Well done, Ethan. Congratulations. You win the frozen walleye. Now, you know, so you have to embrace winter, so there are other fun sports as well. If you go ahead and look behind them. Cue the human curling. See, you got a little human curling. Just make the best of it. This is lit at night. You can go ahead. Those are the suka boys. You can go ahead and curl your little brother right down the ice and have a, just a great, great, great time. So I love the fact they're embracing winter. They have the rink lit up at all times. There's dog sledding. There's all kinds of other things. We'll show you some of those things to do coming up later on at 6. You know, you're using your feet, and you're competing against a little kid. Just I enough. knew within two seconds if I put my feet on those pedals, my pants would have split, and we would have needed to censor this event. So so. That would have been life, good live TV with a 30-degree wind yeah, chill. It really would. You know, it is cold. Of course, that uh, energy will warm me up a little bit. But it's just a chance of some of the light flurries like what we've experienced. We've got some more Olympic action. Here we go. Human curling. Look at that. I thought the kids were going to push the adults. Oh, so much fun. Again, there is a lot of fun stuff to do out here on a very frozen gull lake besides some fishing. And, uh, of course, we will keep the fun and festivities going on the 6 o'clock news tonight and also the 10 o'clock news later on tonight as well. Is that Frank who was doing the human curling, Chris? I thought Frank was going to get into the saucer. He chose not to for it's, some reason. Well, I do not fit in the saucer. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Did he bring his uh, trophy with him? Because he did get a curling trophy. I know he likes to talk about that a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm big news up here. I'm going to be uh, probably in the brain or dispatch for Curly. I'm doing a clinic up here tonight, actually, right. Amelia. Thank you for bringing that up. You guys, behind you, though, that sunset looks beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And again, uh, we've been talking about how the temperature at the bottom is really going to drop out once the sun sets. But yeah, it's just very pretty up here. It's just good Beautiful. Time. Beautiful. Beautiful. And if you're dressed for it, it's certainly tolerable and you can even have some fun out here, Amelia. Well, it certainly looks like you guys are. So we will Indeed. see you at 6. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Oh, we have some good treats for you. Oh, good. Can't wait. <laughs> From my nice warm studio. Let the road trip begin. We made it. We're on Gull Lake. Coming up, we'll show you all the fun things you can do in the wintertime in the Brainerd Lakes area. Now, from Minnesota's most watched station, this is WCCO 4 News. Thanks for watching WCCO at 6. I'm Amelia Santanello. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Vassalero, live in Nisswa on beautiful Gull Lake, along with Chris Schaefer, where just a couple hours ago we plopped down this beautiful going to the lake WCCO Ice House. Yeah, it was early this morning. We hooked it uh, onto the back of the mobile weather watcher, and this is the first of four stops we came to the Brainerd Lakes area first. And boy, is it pleasant out here. Woo! I love it. <laughs> It'll keep you awake. You don't need coffee. Indeed. Amelia, all kinds of fun, cool things coming up to show you. The weather's tolerable. When you're up here, you're having a good time. It doesn't matter what it's like outside. Well, we'll see in a few minutes, but you guys really need to get into that ice house. Ah, we now. love it out here. All right. Thank yeah. you. Well, this morning, Frank and Chris hooked up a fish house to the WCCO Mobile Weather Watcher and started on their road trip to the lake, and their destination was the Brainerd Lakes area where more than 100,000 residents call the 500 Lake region home. And as we told you earlier, Chris and Frank are in Niswa. So how is it going up at Gull Lake now, guys? Great. Yeah, we had a really nice trip, Amelia. I made Frank stop at the Clearwater exit off Highway 94 for some coffee. And of course, once we were on Highway 10, we had to stop at Treasure City. Yeah, it was great. And then when we made it up here to Grandview Lodge, lunch was waiting for us. And let me tell you, this is one big lunch. Look at that thing. They call that burger the Paul Bunyan Burger. And the smaller one, if you can call that smaller, is a Lucette, Paul's girlfriend, of course. Grandview Lodge uh, has seven restaurants on the grounds. Chef Michael... Manders put this together, and what a spread he put on for us. Of course, you look at the size of that Paul Bunyan burger, and you're just thinking to yourself, Chris, could you actually finish it? Hey, uh, where's dessert? Nice. 
phenomenal. It was yeah. just great. And I can't believe you cleaned that thing up. I'll but tell you what. You are a mighty Paul Bunyan weatherman. I wish I would have saved one of those hamburger patties so I could slap it on my face right now to warm up because it is really cold up here. Uh, it's been cold all day long. Take a look at the temperatures around yeah. the area. You can see those wind chill values. Dangerously cold. That's why there's a wind chill advisory, even a wind chill warning for parts of the state in effect until noon tomorrow. So this would be a good time to zip inside one of the fishing houses. How you guys doing? Doing great. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Are you having any luck catching anything, guys? No? Do you call one that big? Where, where is it? Let's see it. This is going to happen very soon. Oh, confidence. You guys want to have a little contest? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll Chris do a little fishing contest. Good. Right on. Good. We got a game. We got a game. And, and coming up in a, in a few minutes, too, we'll give you the full forecast. Look ahead to the weekend. It's hard to believe this is the last day of January. I'll let you know if the first part of February is any warmer than what we've had today. Let's hope. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys should stay in there for a little while, and we'll, we'll hear a little bit more about your road trip in a few minutes. Thank you. All right. We're going back to Gull Lake in Nisswa tonight. Hi again, Frank and Chris. Oh, that's good to see. We're, we're happy to see that you're warm and toasty. It feels so much better in here. It really does. Yeah, of course, so many people come up here to do the ice fishing. And when you get wind chills, dangerous ones like this, uh, a nice ice fishing shack like this is the only way to go. Yeah, but there's much more to do than ice fishing up here. As a matter of fact, if you're up here with your sweetie, we found something you might want to check out. Sometimes when it's cold... I like to cuddle. This uh, this isn't one of those times, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. You know, uh, every Saturday and Sunday, you can take a sleigh ride, a sleigh ride up here at uh, Grandview Lodge. And as a matter of fact, our driver Doug told us they've had several engagements happen on those rides. It takes about uh, five to seven minutes. And I thought those things moved pretty quick, didn't you? Yeah, it was amazing how smooth the ride was as well. The faster we were going, the smoother it got. And uh, definitely want to say thanks to Bob, Bud, and Doug. Doug being the human being. Uh, Bob and Bud were the horses. And what kind of breed? Uh... Uh, Morgan, they're called. Yeah. Well, those were strong, sturdy animals in this weather, weren't they? Amazing. And they say it's the same type of horses that used to pull the stagecoaches back in the old school days. And they didn't care about the cold. They were totally fine with the cold weather. And that's what's been dominating the weather headlines, obviously, the last couple of days. Now, and I don't see another Arctic snap like this coming up anytime soon, fortunately. I see something. What do you got? I see something good. I got nothing over here. I see something good. Woo! Come on! <laughs> Walleye, baby! Did you really catch that? Oh, he's in heaven. Well, no, do we really catch it? No. <laughs> we stopped at the uh, fish uh, place on the way up here. And I way thought up. it out that, on the you know dashboard of the me. mobile weather watcher. We got it at Schaefer's Grocery on County 77. <laughs> well, that no, was no, it, came right, it came right out of Gull Lake. I'm going to tell now, you right now, of, Chris, you're going to have a difficult time getting him out of that fish house, the ice house there. Oh, because, I know. Because uh, he's going to... He's hooked. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, guys. Nice catch, Franco. That is nice. Hey, Amelia, Tomorrow, uh, Cross Lake Festival, Winterfest Days, snowmobiling, uh, tubing, tubing, and then a, and then a surprise for you tonight at ten. Oh, we can't wait. We can't wait. Hopefully, it's not. And Chris. walleye for dinner. Dinner. <laughs> yeah, hold that thing. Enjoy, up. guys. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we know anything about Frank's fish yet? Yeah, we need to get we a check on that, let me tell you. <laughs> We're going to hear more from them tonight at 10. We'll grill them tonight at 10. Oh, can't wait. Yeah, join us again tonight at 10. We'll find out what they're doing out there on Gull Lake and Nisswa. There they they're, are. They're scheming up something. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Wheel of Fortune's coming up next. Minnesota's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amelia Santanello. Frank and Chris are going to the lake winter style. Tonight they are braving the cold in the Brainerd Lakes area. They join us now from Nisswa. I'm happy to see that you're inside, guys. Hi. Oh, we are too. Hi, Amelia. It's great to be here. And there's a great big crowd here at the uh, Northwoods Pub. 
here at Grandview Lodge. Really a lot of fun. They got a big kid out of, I've seen the bathroom shot too. As yeah, well. definitely. We'll get to that later. Our, our road trip started very early this morning. We grabbed our WCCO mobile weather watcher and hooked up the ice house and away we went down the road. Absolutely. A great road trip, good conditions, and we wanted to get that thing out on the ice pretty quickly. It was uh, cold. What was the temperature when we got here? Well, the temperature was already below zero and the wind chill was more like 35 below, so it was nice to get inside there and hunker down a bit. And once we actually start our broadcast live at six, we brought in a walleye live on the air, which is no easy feat to actually do the broadcast and catch the fish at the same time. But for some reason, I don't know, Amelia doubted uh, doubted the veracity of our walleye catch. Your lovely wife thought it was a bait fish we bought on the way up or something like that. I don't get it. No, we'll clear all that up, show you what we did today, and uh, take you back, of course, to the spa later on. All live here from Grandview Lodge, Amelia. I'm still doubting you, but okay, we can't wait to see you. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Well, Chris and Frank had so much fun on their going to the lake trip this summer that they are doing it again. And they spent the day in the Brainerd Lakes area. And tonight, they found a place to stay warm in Nisswa. Hi again, guys. Hi, Amelia. Hello. I'll tell you what. After a long, arduous day of fishing out there on Gull Lake, we were ready for some dinner. Yeah, we were cold, and let me tell you, we were treated to a fantastic meal. Lobster macaroni and cheese. Divine. Yeah, how about that? Lobster, macaroni, and cheese. Uh, there it is. You wouldn't think it was something special, but it really, really was. Then we had French fries, which were made in truffle oil with a little sprinkled cheese on it. All this at Crew Restaurant. Crew is one of the seven restaurants on the property. It was fantastic. How about this? Wild rice and sushi roll. Yum. Outstanding. And one of the premier features here at Crew is a wine cellar that has 2,000 bottles in it. It's a walk-in cellar. You go in, you pick your own wine, you can sample them. There's a tasting room. It's a, like a visual wine list. And then that tater tot hot dish. Deconstructed, they call it. Yeah. A little skeptical. Phenomenal. Made with lamb and blue cheese. So, I mean, the folks at Crew really know what they're doing, and it was really, really a special meal. It was a special treat because I thought we would be dining on the walleye that you caught. I thought it was big enough to feed us all, but <laughs> funny, your wife was skeptical that it was the real deal. So, I think we should take a second look at that catch. I see something good. I got nothing over here. I see something good. Woo! Come on! Walleye, baby! Did you really catch that? Oh, he's in heaven. Well, what do you... No, did we really catch it? No. <laughs> we stopped at the uh, fish uh, place on the way up here. And I thought it out that, on the you know what, dashboard of the me. mobile weather watcher. We got it at Schaefer's Grocery on County 77. <laughs> well, that no, was... it, came right, it came right out of Gull Lake. It's the real deal. Everybody here knows that was the Is real that a deal. Is from Gull Lake? And... Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Very difficult doing the live broadcast, catching the fish. I know, I know. You're a talented man. Thank you, thank you. No yeah, more doubting, Emilio. Yeah, they're drinking heavily back there. They'll agree with anything, Frank. <laughs> They've been drinking a lot. <laughs> I still don't think, there, I mean, the odds of you guys catching, you catching a walleye at that time have to be so low. The stars were aligned, Amelia. Yeah, it okay. was just a special okay. moment. It's I'm clean living. Everything you. fell together. It's all for your I'm show. So I mean, what are you talking about? And in addition to I'm surprised you're still not out there right now after that one. We might be going back with all of our new friends. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You bet. Frank and Chris hooked up uh, an ice house to our mobile weather watcher this morning and hit the road. They have spent the day in Nisswa and join us now from Nisswa. So guys, after all that fishing, I take it you're ex pretty exhausted. Yeah, you bet, Amelia. We had, we had a great day fishing, awfully cold out there, and we fished uh, something up in the bar here, too. That's yeah, we pretty sure good. did. A lot of people are drinking the One-Eyed Pike. They've got a lot of beer that's actually brewed up here in the area, very popular, and we did. We had quite a busy day up here in this Yeah, uh, check out some of the things that we were able to do today. Went uh, on a sleigh ride, and uh, we're really, really impressed with the power of these two huge, beautiful animals that were pulling that sleigh today. Morgan Horses is the breed. Got to check out the dog sledding as well. Really cool. Cool. Kids absolutely love that. Of course, I uh, took in some fishing while we were here. And we did all this out in the cold. And let me tell you, it took a lot out of us. And we decided we need to take some time for us. Franco. Maurice, this is really a good episode. This is a good part of the trip. I told you how much I love going to the frozen lake. Frank, I warned you about that wind chill.
Can you feel your cheeks yet? There's nothing really more taxing than having to stand on two feet of ice. That's, that's why our feet really need a break. I think I'm just going to finish up this chapter. Ah, uh, big hit in the bar. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do to top this tomorrow, but we have a plan. We're uh, doing something much more masculine, going snowmobiling, yes. alpine skiing, yes. tubing, yes. and then going out to the uh, Cross Lake Winterfest. So that, uh, we won't get laughed at as hard when we do that, which will be great. Um, do you think I can borrow that book on the way to Cross Lake tomorrow? It's so interesting. I, had, now I kind of have an idea why everyone in the world's reading it now. I, I had no idea so. until tonight. So. Yeah. Hey, uh, how beautiful were the stars when we were walking over here for this on project? On a clear, cold night phenomenal. On Unbelievable! If you get a chance to look outside, let's not talk about the stars together. Yeah, yeah, which was a bad that. segue. Yeah. You're right, but the clouds are really. You see a lot of snow in this forecast. It's all very light, uh, pretty comparable to what we had around the Twin Cities today. I'm certain you won't have to break out the shovel. Just something pretty falling from the sky. Love it. Yeah. Oh, Love by the way, this was Tim well. Mahoney's here too. We got his new disc, which he's given away tonight. And if you can catch him live, he's got some CDs to give us away as well. Yeah. Very talented. And he'll be performing here at Grandview Lodge tomorrow night. Yes. Probably. And also, uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, You're right. Friday night. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so happy you guys are bonding like that. It's just wonderful and a little uncomfortable, but thank you very <laughs> much. Before we go, let's check in with the guys again and see what they're looking forward to tomorrow on their road trip. Hi. Oh, it's going to be great. Thank you, Amelia. We're very eager about Friday. Our uh, thanks this evening to uh, Grandview Lodge, one of Minnesota's premier resorts, family-owned since 1916. I always knew that they had summer figured out and they knew yeah. what to do. But let me tell you, they can make winter really, really fun, and we found that out today. And they have a great spot, too, I might add. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything's been great, uh, and we're going to have more fun here tomorrow. You can join us at 5 and 6 for that. And then you can join me in 50 Shades of Frank as we go to Detroit Lakes <laughs> next week. Week, and we'll also be heading uh, to Walker and eventually to Hayward, Wisconsin as well. Yeah, uh, Eel Pout Festival in Walker and then yep. uh, Berkebiner in Hayward. So yep. uh, it should be great. And uh, Amelia, we'll get you out on one of these trips. You'll uh, you'll love it. Crowd, did you have a nice time? Did have, you have a good, a good time. time? <laughs> uh, big thanks to Tim Mahoney for the music. It's Absolutely. all good up here. All right, thank you very much. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. All right, we'll do have it again. It'll be fun. Thank you. You too. Yeah. And thanks for joining us. David Letterman is next. Have a good night.